What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Idle Heroes. Want to thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. If you like the video, don't forget, smash that thumbs up button and show your support. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright guys, today was a terrible day. It was leg day, and that's terrible. Alright, there's no getting around that. Oh, oh, it was rough. But we're here. We're here in massive amounts of excruciating pain, but it's alright. We're here today to round out our team. Today, we are going to 10-star the last piece of the puzzle. But before we do it, we're going to summon a bunch of crap, because you never know. The plan could go one of two ways. We'll see what happens. All right? So we've got uh, we've got a couple of these, I guess, to go through. Like that. Three-star hot. 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 All good. We've got 80 basic summons. I guess didn't use them yesterday, but whatevs. No big deal. Go through here, smash out some heroes, see if we can get anything good. What was it, two days ago? I don't know, it was a couple days ago, like, every time I opened 10 basic summons, I got a 5-star hero. I was like, what the crap? Um, apparently not the case today. Pulling a lot of 3s. Which I just went through and dismantled, like, 5,000 3-star heroes. It was stupid. It was just straight up dumb. I don't need the shards. Oh, look at that. A double 5-star pull from basic summons. Um, if you guys aren't aware, seasonal server. Seasonal server, that is why the odds are high. Um, there you go. Make that clear. Because always somebody, always at least one person. It was like, oh my god, your luck is crazy. Basic summons, five stars, were you cheating? Nay. Nay, I'm not a cheater. I just get a little lucky sometimes. <laughs> and sometimes not, but it's alright. Smash through the last couple of these. We don't have many left, I promise. I thought we didn't have many left, maybe we do. I think this is the last one. It feels like the last one. See, I was right, it felt like the last one. We got 34 of the heroic summons. Go ahead and smash through those as well. No reason to hold back. Not gonna fit. I, ooh, Faith Blade, hot. I already got a 10 star, but it's cool to get another one, I guess. Uh, actually, I think I've pulled. Is that seven? Seven copies of Faith Blade this season? <gasps> oh, nutsack. Didn't mean to hit that. That button's in the wrong spot, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's in the, it's the wrong spot. Ooh, hey. It's okay. Take it all back. We got Jara. Woo! <laughs> Can't really use her, but man, 2200 gems, that just. That burns me up inside. Got another one. Holy freaking balls. That's crazy. That's crazy. Two in a row, eh? Oh my god, what is happening in my life? Got freaking three of them. <laughs> I can make a nine-star jar, I guess. A little late for that, though, but whatevs. Oh, we got four more. Never mind. Everybody, everybody calm down. We could pull two jars here. I don't think I've got enough food to make her anyway, though. It would be crazy. That would be absolutely insane. I still cannot believe that just happened, though. Three of them, just back to back to back. That was nuts. Hey, next season, next season, I've got to build Jara and I've got to build Valentino again because, I mean, I could, I cannot believe I could not get any copies for that dude, man. It was nuts, dude, man. It's a good combo. Anyways, I don't know, man. I got five copies of Sigmund. I'm not going to build Sigmund. A little late in the season, I guess. I mean, he's still good for boss damage, but whatever. I don't got the food to make him all the way to 10, so I'm not going to worry about it. Maybe I'll six, seven, eight star him whenever I can, um, just for some last minute, you know, Event boss points. Um, oh, wait, we got, we got, we've got other stuff. We've got eight profit orbs. We also got ten super chips. So let's go ahead and blast those out. Um, I can't refresh anymore. I'm not really worried about pulling heroes off of this. So we'll just go ahead and smash it. See if we can get some. I don't know. Gold orbs, branches. I don't really care. There's some orbs. I'll take it. I'll take the orbs and the branches. And I'm actually kind of on the fence. Heart Watcher's fantastic. I've got her in the private server. And I love her. I love my 10-star Heart Watcher, but I've already built the 9-star Scary, and I've got four extra copies, one still in my bag, um, for another Scary, which is kind of scary. Um, but yeah, that was a great pun. We're going to take that guy probably to 10-star. He is a mage. He's going to benefit from the mage tech. I don't have him leveled up because I'm freaking broke on materials. Um, and it makes me wonder. I mean, I could try for the Heart Watcher to 10-star her too, but I don't have... I don't have nine star food lined up pretty much anywhere. I mean, I could maybe squeeze it out. Maybe, possibly, perhaps. It would be a really tough go. I might be able to pull a nine star somewhere. Um, it actually makes me kind of want a nine star Valentino. Let's go, let's go Fortress with our orbs. See if we can snatch another Valentino copy, get him to nine star. Um, because why the crap not? You know what I'm saying? Like, I could get a ten star Heart Watcher, probably, maybe. I'm probably doing this wrong. They probably should be going for a ten star Heart Watcher. But whatever, I ain't got the food for it right now anyways, so we'll see what happens. We'll smash through all this, see what we can get. 
No big thing. No big thing. Just smashing through some orbs, peeps. That's what we do. Getting some five-star shards out of the mix is nice, Blink. I'm telling you guys, if I wanted to run like a PvP meta team, I could have this season no problem. I had like 15 Demon Hunter copies, like tons of Ice Blinks. I could have been that guy, but I hate that guy, so I'm not going to be that guy at all. A um, couple more of these to go. So far, nay on the Valentino. Not super worried about it. We'll replace one of these dudes. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, ODO1. Uh, well, no, we won't do ODO1. I've got two of them. That was the wrong button. That was a great button, actually. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, pause, mail, 600 more logs, and 6 million gold, I'll take it, now let's go in here at 1200 of the branches, and let's see, what do we want to replace, let's look with our eyes, um, Ormus, don't really care for Ormus, at least not on this account, I've got one, 10 star on the official server, that felt good, um, but other than that, I mean, I'm not gonna build him here, ain't gonna happen, a lot of bleakers coming through, Looking good with the bleaks. Christian 5-star? Nope. I'm telling you guys, the Valentino stuff and things, it's been rough. Like, it's been really rough. I can't believe if the whole season I've only gotten two copies. And I orbed Fortress for a long time hunting for that flame strike. I've gone through thousands of heroic summons, so I don't know. Well, but not thousands. Over a thousand. That's, that's for sure. It's not going to happen, is it? Not going to build a 9-star, am I? Sierra, and that dude. So that's a nay. That is a nay on the nine-star Valentino. Kind of hurts my feels. Hurts my feels a little bit. Um, but anyway, it's not a huge deal. The main thing we're going to do today anyway is I already decided. In my mind place, I was already like, you know what? I've got the copies. I've never ten-starred Scary before. Um, never mind. Got to make a six-star hero, which means got to make a five-star food. That's the thing. Um, you, five-star food. Get ready to be a food. I only need one of you, all right? Overclicking a little bit there, but I just calm down. And we'll go boom, 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 boom. Perfect. Perfect! The perfect number of things. There we go, the five star. Now we can make the six star of the Fat Moo. Speaking of the Fat Moo, there's a guy in Merc who runs a team of Fat Moos in a Karim. He beasted the living crap out of my team in PvP. I'm sad. I'm sad. I looked at it, I was like, could I? Could I take this? And I tried it. And I, I could not take that. It it wrecked me hard. The fact that they do damage when they're attacked, dude, dude. My team just like obliterated themselves. I cried a little bit inside, but it was it was cool. You don't see a lot of teams like that, so getting beat by it felt refreshing. Like thank God it wasn't three crews and all that junk. So I was all right with it. It's pretty cool to get beat by something um, that you don't see every day. So that was kind of fun. Um, probably still in my log. Can I go back and watch it? Can I show you guys? Yes. Merc Archeron. Archeron? I don't know. Watch this guy totally beast me with Fat Moose. It's fantastic. All right, so I'm like, yeah, I got this, right? Fat Moose, they're not very dead deadly. They're not deadly. You'd be wrong. Look at the damage over time. That my, my bleaker just took 600 grand damage over time. Every time you hit them, you just start taking damage. Oh, it's ridiculous. I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe. And then I was like, no. No, there, there's no way. Things going downhill fast. And look at that. He beasted me with the fat moves. The fat moves destroyed my soul place. Uh, <laughs> it was crazy, but it happened. Anyways, back on to the, what was going to go on now. is We're going to take this scary guy, and we're going to take him to a 10-star scary. I've got a faceless built up over here, um, so we'll go ahead and make this. going to make him... I've never actually used one, so I don't know how strong he really gets, but we're going to see. We're going to see what our definitely not max-leveled scary can put out damage-wise. Not actually pretty bad for being level... Uh, 150 with the 800 grand health. I'll take it. Oh, this is going to be rough. I can probably take him up what? Maybe the level 200? Maybe? We'll see. We'll see how close we can get to Hunsky. Oh, man. Oh, it's eating through it quick. Ugh, not quite 200. Still got over a million health. That's not bad. I've got a crit HP stone on him because it's all I have. I could re-roll for crit crit, which is probably the best thing. I've got reduced damage on him as well. I think he'll probably make a better tank than my Bleaker because Bleaker kind of gets his booty hole smashed in a real fast fashion. This guy's rocking 47% reduced damage, um, which isn't bad. I could upgrade this again, give him a little bit more. Um, can I actually upgrade it? Do I have enough of the stuff in the things? Five? Ooh, can we do it? Oh, we can perfectly do it. It's like that was planned or something. It wasn't, but hey, whatevs. Now he's rocking 
50% reduced damage. Hot. Hot, 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 hot. Um, not the best gear. Not the best stone for him. Um, definitely not max leveled yet. Hopefully we can get that to be a thing. Um, but hey, we, there we go. We've done it. We have done it, guys. From what was definitely my worst ever start to a season, we've come back and 10-starred an entire team. So it's not, there's no aura, okay? It's it's totally willy-nilly, kind of making whatever we can make. Um, but it's working. It, it's, it's all right. I'm not top on anything. <laughs> but it feels kind of good to be able to accomplish that after how rough it started. So I kind of want to do like a battle with him. Is there any Marauders alive? This guy's alive. Um, he hits backline, doesn't he? Drop you out, put you in. Maybe he will hit my Scary a little bit, because I think Scary mainly benefits when he gets attacked. That's going to put a mark on him. Every time he attacks, put a mark on him. I've never used Scary. This is the very first time I've ever used a Scary that was more than five stars. So, let's see what happens. Let's see what my Scary can do. What kind of damage can this guy output when he's not even maxed? We'll see. We shall see. Could be amazing. Could be amazing. Could be not so amazing at all. We don't know. Um, but apparently, the longer he lives, obviously, the more damage he does. So, I think reduced damage is actually a pretty solid artifact for a Scary. Um... Some people want to go crit on and build a really crit-heavy scary. I think it's not a bad idea, but kind of like in the, the area of Flame Strike, he's stronger the longer he lives. If he dies really quick, is he really that great? No, I kind of lean toward defensive stuff, so make him last a little bit longer. It's probably why I suck in PvP. <laughs> I'm not good in PvP. It is not my forte. Um, I'm more of a PvE kind of guy. It's my thing. I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing big damage and lots of numbers. You just don't see a lot of those in PvP. At least I don't, because I get wrecked. Wrecked in the booty. 1.9 mil. That's not a bad crit. Not a bad crit for 0% crit damage. That's not bad. Faithblade just dropping numbers, man. Faithblade's a beast. I like my Faithblade. What are you going to do here? 2.2 mil crit. That wasn't bad. 48 million damage. Not my highest damaging season. Last season I did much better, but I had Walter, Bloodblade, Sigmund, all that stuff. I was hitting pretty crazy. What did he drop? 6.7 mil. That's not bad for a, you know, he's got 50 levels to go still. Actually, a little over 50 million. Uh, 50 million. 50 levels to go. Um, not bad. I'm okay with it. I mean, I don't have a lot of buffers. I don't have, like, a cruise in my team to weaken. I don't have, like, a Sigmund to strip armor. Um, so that's... Those are pretty decent. Um, Vesa just tearing butthole. 15 million damage. Go! Get in there. That's a lot. She's she's looking hot. I like my Vesa. Vesa's one of my... Uh, I like Vesa. I like Heart Watcher, too. I like them both. And Scary just looks like a freaking beast. I like the way Scary looks. He's one of the very few heroes in the game that doesn't follow, like, the person thing. Like, you know... That's a dude in armor. That's a chick with a staff. That's a chick with a staff. That's a dude with a little floaty ball. That's a dude with a staff. And then you got this guy. Freaking insect monster. All right? You're like, yeah, that's pretty beast. All right? If I was a dev, I'd be pushing a few more crazy looking things, like some weird dragon looking dudes. That's kind of what I like. I like that kind of stuff. There's a lot of regular dude looking things in the game. And so they look pretty cool. They got pretty cool designs. Um, but I've, I've always been had a weakness for, like, crazy-looking stuff. <laughs> monsters. I like monsters. But anyways, I don't know what else we could do. Do we have any guild bosses we could tackle, like, once? See if we can put some damage out? We do. Ooh. Are we in the top ten? Nay, we are not. Nay, we are... Oh, my God. We are not even close. We shall make it. Maybe, perhaps. Um, who shall I drop? Bleaker. Is that even a question? <laughs> I think Faceless also attacks the back line, so probably the best place to put him. I wish I could max him. I, I should be able to max him before the end of the season. Um, that would be ideal. Um, I won't be doing, like, if I had some people ask me about the analysis videos. Will I be doing analysis videos um, like I did last season? Yes, they won't be taking place during seasonal. They'll take place after season's ended. Okay, so after it's over, all those videos that I backlog of actually making the analysis, I'll start putting those up afterwards just, you know, just to, you know, I like having them out there. They're important videos, I think. Man, Scary is just taking a punch. He's like, screw all you people. That reduced damage is just retarded. <laughs> it is retarded. He just, he just takes a lick and keeps on giving. Man, I kind of like him. I kind of like him. I want to build a Scary next season and use him from like the beginning. Oh, he's pretty cool. Man, he's just getting punched. He's like, dude, I don't even care. I don't even care what you're doing. Look at that. Okay, now he's starting to take a little bit of a punch. All right. But he's, I bet his damage is going to be way higher now with multiple enemies to attack instead of just one. I bet you he does quite a bit. Oh, he's dead now. He's totally dead. And now, 
Now we start to slowly lose our people, and they are dead immediately. 26 million damage. That's not bad for a high-end boss battle, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, look at that. Scary dropping 8.8 .8 mil. Highest damage on the team. Go scary. Go team scary. I'm on your side. What's that put us up to rank-wise? Top 10. Do I want to hit one more? I kind of do. Just to make sure no one kind of like bumps me out of the top 10. Because my tech situation is still absolute balls. <laughs> it is still bad. Um, I did really bad this season in tech. I feel like a, a bad player. But I did try to go three tech trees. Maybe next season I'll stick with just two. Oh my god, is that 39 millions? It is. 10 million from the Faith Blade. I like my Faith Blade. I do. He's actually, he's a beast. Dude, Faith Blade is a monster all around. Like, I never built one before. I built one this season just to see what he was. In PvP, the guy's an animal, dude. Get him out here in the boss fights. He's like, screw all you bosses. I can't stun you, but I'll still put a whooping on you. And he does. He does. I like him. He doesn't do the damage like Blood Blade and Walter do usually because they're more damage over time. But he's still not bad. That's a heavy hit. 39 mil, I feel. I'm proud of that one. <laughs> I am proud. Um, puts me in the top six, I guess. That feels good. That feels good. I feel like I'm safe in the top 10 here for nowsies. Maybe. Um, we'll see. But any hoodles, tech situation, kind of butt crack. We never actually even maxed out the priest speed because we're lazy. We also didn't max out our assassin tech at all. That's disgusting. Mage is pretty high. Skip skill damage and precision. Precision's almost useless now. Let's be honest about things. No one uses it. Um, skill damage, definitely could have used it bumping, but I kind of wanted to get into assassin tech with my faith blade. Um, so I figured I can cut a little skill damage out of my mages and try to push more into my assassins. Hopefully I can get this tree pretty close to maxed. If I can't, what I'll do is I'll do all my mage analysis first, and then I'll scrap my mage tech, put it all into assassins, and do my assassin last. That's kind of my game plan. Um, one more thing before I go. Before we call it a day and hop out of here, a lot of people ask when season ends. There's a really easy way to check it yourself. Click on the season deal down here. Click the info button. When your awards get sent, that's when season ends. So we got about 68 hours from right now until season ends. It'll be less when you guys see the video, of course. Um, but that's kind of what you want to keep in mind. That number is important. I think we get one more refresh. Yes, we'll have a refresh for like one day of new events um, to knock out some stuff. I'm really just mainly hoping we'll get... Oh, I could put scary on there. Sidetracked by shiny things. Um, where's he at? He's way down here. There he is. Bang. Get on there. I like scary. He's so cool looking. I need to build more of them. Um, but anyways, yeah. Solid looking hero. Hope I can max him before the end of the season. Um, and it's going to be tough. 50 levels. May I get about 10 million every 8 hours? I might be able to make it. I might be able to make it. I hope I can. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Maybe if I pull another Heart Watcher, I might get an extra 10 star. What? Could be a thing. We'll see what happens. But... That's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button and show your support. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. And tell your friends about it because that definitely helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one.